let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. knows we've had generations of excellence in spider football spider athletics and as everyone knows too we're getting ready to open a new chapter in that story uh, finishing up the decades at uh, downtown stadium with uh, several of the most remarkable years that we've ever had um, and now we're getting ready to open the spectacular new stadium here next fall and I can't tell you how happy we are to introduce our new coach to you uh, it was my pleasure to get a chance to talk with uh, our new coach uh, at my house the other evening. Had a good wide-ranging conversation. I can see that uh, we're on the same wavelength, and he's ready to continue the excellence uh, that we've inherited here at the University of Richmond. I'd like to introduce you now to our athletic director, Jim Miller, uh, who headed up this search, worked uh, hard on this, and uh, looked all over the country to find who would be the next person who would lead Spider football, and I'm proud to say that he's found someone great. Jim? Thanks, Ed. Before I uh, thank a few people that really were instrumental in the search, I want to make sure you all know that uh, we have a, one of our football Hall of Famers here down visiting today. We're fortunate to have Brian Jordan. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. I also want to thank the current members of our football staff who have worked hard during this week, being a little hectic, but it's, they did a great job with our recruiting keeping things moving in the right direction. Vic Sheely, Dave Legg, Scott Burton, Bill Poland, Byron Thweet, Kevin Lewis, Steve Atkinson, Blanda Wolf, Josh Bookbinder, thank you so much for all you did during this week to keep us moving forward in this tough time. Thank you. In addition, in addition I want to Say a special uh, thank you to uh, Shannon Sinclair, university attorney, who worked hard uh, finalizing this arrangement uh, with Luttrell, and uh, really appreciate her fine effort on that. Bob Black, Mike DeGeorge, our public relations guys for football, for setting this up. Rich McDonald and his facilities crew, thank you so much for uh, last minute work. You always do a great job, and thank you so much for this. Uh, uh, you know, Harold Babb, our faculty athletics rep, who represented the faculty in this search and conferred with him during the process. And of course, President Ayers, who worked closely uh, with the athletic department, athletic personnel to help make this done, get this done. Also want to thank, uh, most importantly, uh, David Walsh, our deputy AD, who worked side by side with me on this search as, as, as he has with all our searches for our head coaches. So I want to thank him particularly for that. And just so that takes uh, Luttrell, this off Latrell's mind. I do want to thank and welcome and introduce his spouse, Brandy. If you'd say hello to everybody, thank you for being here today. Just want, just want to make sure you, you didn't forget that. I got I stayed on that. When this position opened eight uh, days ago, we, I asked uh, a lot of people what we needed in our, in our next coach, student athletes, former players, alums, coaches, and uh, I didn't have to ask donors and fans. They were more than happy to initiate the uh, <laughs> suggestions, and, uh, but I appreciate that very much. But if you, if you really take a look at all the things that were suggested, both from our current players, former players, and all those people we talked to, even coaches around the country, there were five important qualities we thought were important. One, this person had to be a good person, a good guy, somebody that really is somebody we, can, we would like to have as a colleague and would be a good partner. Uh, we needed someone who could create and maintain great relationships with our student athletes. Uh, that, that was critical. We heard that from our student athletes as the number one item. We thought he needed ties to the university or to the community or, or, or to our student athletes, something that would show that this, this person has come on board and had long-term plans for this program and really take what we have here and even build it even better. Um, we wanted someone we knew could maximize the talents and skills of our current players while at the same time uh, continuing what we've, the great strides we've made in recruiting in the last few years. Um, and when, in short, when we looked at all those things, we really came to the conclusion we're, we have a good football program and what we need to focus on is continuity. How can we keep this thing going like we have? And Latrell Scott brings all that to us, it brings all that to the Spiders. He came to Richmond with Dave Clawson, established a program 
that is, has proven to be one of the finest in the country. Uh, he rose to the level of assistant head coach and recruiting coordinator uh, with, with Dave. And then in his coaching career, he's demonstrated that just like Mike London, he's a player's first coach. What is best for the guys on the team? And that's what he's going to work for. You know, an important part of the search process is when we put, brought together six representatives from the football team and we met, Dave uh, Walsh and I met with them to really talk about what do we need in this program. Their, their support was invaluable. And a member of that group that helped us really establish the kind of man we wanted for this new, uh, this new head coach was Kevin Grayson. So I've asked him if he would participate and probably do one of the, for the first time probably in intercollegiate history, have one of our student athletes introduce our new head coach. So Kevin, take it away. Well, before, oh, let me scoot up. Before I officially, you know, introduce Latrell Scott as the next head coach, I just want to say on behalf of the football team, you know, just we're really excited about this new selection. Um, I think after meeting with Jim Miller, you know, he really took into account what, what we wanted in the next head football coach. So I think with that being, with that being said, you know, with us meeting with him, he definitely picked a selection I think the team will be happy with. Um, with that, you know, he's a Richmond native. He's been here before. He knows what it takes to win football games. Um, when he was here with Clawson, you know, we were a high-powered offense, so I know that's going to come back to Richmond right now. Um, he does a tremendous job with recruiting, so I don't think we'll lack in any area with that. Um, it's a chance for him to do something special here at the University of Richmond. We've had, you know, excellence here through the past couple seasons through Mike London and Dave Clawson, so I know that he's ready to keep that tradition alive. So that being said, I introduce to you, on behalf of the University of Richmond, new football coach, Latrell Scott.